Okay, Priscilla, could you review those points more, please? Sure. At six minutes, uh, Mark will see a green light. Seven minutes, a yellow light. And at eight minutes, he'll see a red light. And he'll have 30 seconds to finish there. All right. Thank you. All right, so please join me in welcoming Mark as our second speaker. Thank you. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Excited to be here today. Good afternoon to you too. And how can I say this? One of the I say tenets or mantras here at, at Toastmasters, and I and I read this somewhere. It said, um, <clears throat> "Is to seek imperfect action over perfect inaction." That makes sense. So seeking imperfect action. Because sometimes you're gonna get up here and you may not be fully prepared, you may not have practiced that much, but sometimes you have to push through. But it's about the intention, the intention of a message. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, today I wanna to talk to you about focus. Everybody say focus. 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 And success. And how those, you can, I like that. Everybody say success. 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 I appreciate that, Dustin. And how those two are kind of tied together. Now, I'm reading this book by a gentleman by the name of uh, Gelly, Gary, Hel Gary Keller. He is the uh, owner of uh, Keller Williams Realty. And I uh, wrote this book. I, wrote it, I read it a few years ago. It's called The One Thing. And basically, the, the tenet or the, the, the crux of the book is, you know, and he's in business, is finding the one thing as maybe as a person or as a business that you can do that makes everything else either easier to do or unnecessary. So I want you to just think about that. You know, something even in this club, something that we can do that makes it easier for everyone or unnecessary to even have to do. And in his book, he brings up some really good points that I, you know, I thought, wow, I, gotta, I have to bring this information to our club. This is not my original thought, this is more his thought. But it, it, it made me think, wow, that's a, an excellent way to look at it. And, I, and he brought up some points. One point, um, if I'm going to say this, forget that. We're going we're gonna to make our own point. Imagine for a minute, okay, you're going to just do it this way. All right. You, um, these are uh, lawns, okay, grass. And you're in charge of cutting the grass. So you've got to cut it, you've got to mow it, and you've got to blow it. That's your job. That's what you got to do. Now, the question is, you got you know, lawn here, lawn here, lawn here. The question is, are you going to cut, mow, and, or mow, blow each piece? Or would it be easier to mow everything and edge everything and then blow everything? What's your thought? What's, what's easier, generally speaking? Doing the everything. The ladder. What's the ladder? Uh, do each step over the whole area in progression, not like get one perfect and then move on to the next one. Why do you think that? Because what you're saying is, if we focus just on the mowing, we can just do all the mowing, focus on that, and we can kind of get our groove in the mowing, stop, you know, or finish, and then do the edging, and kind of get our groove on the edging, and then blow. You're 100% right. And that's what it's about. It's about focusing on that one thing. And you know, every notice when you just do one thing, you can get into a groove and do it quicker as opposed to just mowing, blowing, edge one, and you're starting and stopping. Focus on one thing. And that makes the whole process a little bit easier. You think of a company like Google. Anybody, anybody heard of Google? Yeah. Anybody? <laughs> any, anybody got a Google phone? We've all heard of Google. What does Google do? What do we do with Google? What is their main thing? Information. And we all know. It's only one word. Information. Search. 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 That's what they do. That is, that's what they do excellent. And because they do that excellent, what does that enable them to do? What else does that enable them to do? Advertise. <laughs> Thank you. Say it one more time. Advertise. Because it's a lot easier to sell. They, they do search excellent. So people will want to advertise because people are coming on there to search because Google searches, does searches very well. 
So it makes the selling a lot easier, you, you see? So that is one of the points Gary is trying to make. If we do this one thing really well, it makes the other things a lot easier. We've heard of Star Wars before. Anybody heard of Star Wars? Okay. One year, Star Wars made, I think, about $5 billion on their movies. Okay. But on the products they sold, they made $10 billion. Okay. So I'm, this is kind of a tricky question. So what is their number one thing? What is what? What are they there to do? And think about it. It's not it's, you know it's only fifty fifty. So is their number one thing product or is it movies? Brand. Which one is it? The brand. It's the brand. No, it's got two choices: either the product or the movie. What is the their product, number one thing? It's the product. It's the movies. The movie. Because the movies opens up the door to sell the product. So they focus on the movie. That's, that's their number one thing. And how can I say this? So they focus on that one thing. You know, someone like Michael Phelps, he focuses on swimming. That's his main thing. And, you know, I think he has like 23 gold medals. Amazing guy. Now, you say, well, why is it important to focus? Because I believe that's the thing we need to create what I call the success halo. You say, what is a success halo? The success in the moment. Turn my back on you for a minute. And I'm going to actually apply this to Fairweather Toastmasters because I think it's a good, good place to do. Now, as a club, what do you think is the number one thing that's a, that is we should do in this club? And it, you could make this up, but what do you think the number one thing we should do? And I have my thoughts, but what do you think? Number one. Practice. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an appointment. And I will come back to that. I'm going to just throw out some ideas here. Now, again, we focus, we want, to, we want to focus our energy on one thing. So here's my thought on it. Let's say, because we did this today and I think it's applicable, let's say for the next six months, we focus on making sure everybody in the meeting speaks. Okay? That's our focus. That's what we're focused on. Everybody speaks in every meeting. We focus on that. Okay. Six months. Okay. The next six months, we focus on making sure everybody says the word of the day. While everybody does this, and we're doing this now. So we focused on this, now we're on this, but we, we're including both, okay? You, you see what I'm doing with that? This next, this next time we could say, okay, everybody that's in the club, think of something. Like you said, well, practice, what else could you, would you say that we could do as a group that we don't do now? Because we do practice every day. What, what else could we do that we could add to our halo of success? Mentor. I'm sorry? Mentor. There you go. Okay. One of our requirements will be everybody mentors at least one person. While we are saying the word of the day, while we are making sure everybody speaks at every meeting. So you create this kind of halo. Now the Toastmasters, I just want you to think about these two things. And it could be words to live by, I don't know. But focus. Would you think when you come into this room, what is your focus? And how can we create this halo of success in our country? Mr. Toastmaster.